is happening my Paris what is happening y'all blessed no stress Thursday evening to you all wear your hat wherever your hat if you're in traffic coming from work blessed Thursday evening be careful on the roads if it's snowing you might want to keep warm if the weather is cold you might want to keep warm my weather not so cool and it's not so cool today I'm in my room fan is on but I'm still sweating now today is a little the, the, the video is going to be a little different today it's going to be a little back then video I want to share a little story a little back then as we told you we're going to go different on the Deb Deb strain because you know it's about life stories everything a little vlogging I told you that 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 is how the channel is going to be and it's gonna be a little back then story with something that never went so well it never go good it's a part the first part of it is sad yes and I hope it don't make you all too sad I've gotten over it now and I'm here and there is a humorous part to it so I hope you all enjoy it no any of you ever have you had I want to try to speak most of it in English so all the parties who don't understand the part of can you know be writing on it who understand the part of me don't understand the English so but who for for who really not understand the part of I want to try to make it in most of it in English for now because you know we chat the part enough over here so but I am gonna try to make it as best as possible um I don't know if you all have any moment in your life from a child back coming up to even where your age where you are now that there is a memory that has stood out it wasn't so nice but after you gotten over the part that wasn't nice there was just something that you found that you could laugh at now I want to carry you back to 1977 and you all over here on the debit train you all know my age that I, I was 52 last october so i'm taking and if i was 52 i was born in 1965 and i'm taking you way back to 1977 as a little girl 12 years old my name did full 12 yet it was 11 plus because this thing happened somewhere about late may early june I can't remember the month 1977 I was like 11 years and plus as I told you before I'm the only girl and I'm the last one from 13 children and the only girl now my mother she was a she's she we were living in the country I tell them about I grew up in the country so for a living she would um, reproduce her when she don't have enough she would buy from other farmers come to the city Kingston here to sell and to make a living for us at that time my father was a bit you know getting sickly and him couldn't do not more than you know so it was all dependent on her you know so that was what she did she did that for a living I don't know if all of you all are Americans and Canadians and I think other Caribbean countries would know what I'm talking about she would buy produce from the produce from the um, you know the in, inside in the rural part we call it country come to town some days at a week stay over two or three days to sell that was how she made a living to take care of us I had two brothers they are older than me both of them were sick one wasn't born sick but the one that I'm gonna tell you the, this throwback this back then thing was sick he was born sick he was but he was older than I am a lot older because in 1977 he was 27 he died in what i'm gonna tell you it wasn't an accident he just literally i think died of you know, maybe natural causes but uh he was 27 when he died and i was like 11 plus so you know enough of all army anyhow went to school my mother was going to she went to the market she got a market that we call it went to school but as a little girl when she going out you know I mean, should I live? Ah, for the days I'm out. Should I say, Debbie, T 
this for breakfast. Even though we don't say breakfast, you say tea. And I had to come home from a lunch from school. School was a good thing, you know. But we didn't have to walk home for lunch because she never had the money to give me for buying it in school. So yeah, come home, come eat any little thing with that yard, man. You know? So I have to look about like a drink of tea before I go away. And I have to come back for lunch. Me and my little nephew, I had a little nephew. He was five. He was born in 1972. So he was five. Like, him didn't even like reach grade one yet but they still took him at the school because he's six you start primary school at six in jamaica so that is they still took him you know i think they still i think he was in the latter part of the basic school or something but it was me and him going to school mama gone told no so you know i was school let over me come on me and my little friend oh, when school let over i always do extra lessons because at 11 plus i would be then in at that time it wasn't gsat it was common entrance in jamaica that was what we call the exam to leave from primary school to high school we call it common entrance and all of you less julian comment below no me attack eh? we would call it common entrance so you were doing extra lessons so the little nephew know him gone home and me left back doing extra lessons so when extra lesson over now me and my little friend my girlfriend coming home but she branching off a country you know she branched off a fair house before me reach home so you know happily now we are come home two little girls you know so when she reach a fair yard now me start get lonely you know mama not at home she gone at home me are the only little girl in the house the only female um away from my mother so when my mother there woman feel good me feel up and me feel nice so one time she go down a little traffic of her yard. She said, tomorrow, Debs, tomorrow. I say, yeah, man, tomorrow, if no sorrow. Remember what I said? I said to her, tomorrow, if no sorrow. And you know what happened? I never used that, that what do you call it? Phrase, sentence. Try me, I try, say me, I rhyme up, you know, tomorrow, if no sorrow. I never used it again in all my life never used it to anybody as a phrase to say bye it's like a little bye you could have said bye i love you you know because the tomorrow was a lot of sorrow anyway i'm gonna go down when we go home we had two houses one at the top and the land country land we had two houses one at the top one at the bottom so the boys would stay at the bottom house my mother my father and myself we at the top house so when this little sick brother know he was somebody that he would never come he would come up there but he would never go inside any room up there to sleep when me come home now i go inside of the house to take off my school clothes when me look me see him lie down and and he never even lie down on the bed him lie down somewhere on the floor and mr to him here call him you know we call him little pet name kitty p mr kitty p kitty p and he must say eh but he could not speak he, he could not talk he could not talk but he would say words and you know some of funny words but because we grew with him we knew what he was saying you know so he pat on his tummy and show me belly are hurting so i said all right when we look now we find out that my father junk there was a bigger brother there him go work and come back him junk anyway he must say eh. and he must show me him tummy you know he must show me him tummy he said all right i got to take off my clothes and i'm gonna make mint tea for you so when we go into the kitchen, our country kitchen, you know, not a water. Me have to go so soup down the go to go ketchup and our water. When we come back, wood fire, you know, you all country, you know, the barn and going out the country. You know what I'm talking about, wood straight wood fire. Me run go down the go pick up some little dry bramble, you know them that we catch quick. When we look, we not have no mint. We wanted to give mint tea. We shoot go up at the neighbor, broke piece of mint, come down. But during that time, you know, the, the fire take long for catch, you know. I had to take long for the story long enough, but I, would, I know you would want to hear it. So, the <laughs> fire take long, but I would, I would then I run from run outside kitchen, but then I run from outside kitchen for come back run, run from outside kitchen for come back run and keep peeping on him. And let me tell you something, Paris, this is the saddest part of it. My father did a junk, my next brother junk. All me and wait them for come help me. Them junk, 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 junk. So, when we finally I come and come with the tea now, me say oh my when me come me a lick him and i try pull him up him na move him na move me say kitty pee kitty pee parry he was dead my little sick brother was dead it seems as if he had a gas problem he was born with it where sometimes the belly just balloon up now let me tell you me just drop the cup of tea 
I'm gonna say, can it be dead? 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna start to cry and run and I shout out and you know, neighbors come and everything. Anyway, we'll get more and get down to it. Came down tonight now. Coming down tonight now. When what happened the camera shut the at camera around. Mm -hmm. Coming down tonight now, my battery might die, Paris, I hope it down. Coming down tonight now, people coming on gone. So we're living at the most remote part. So you know you had to go to the station to report that. Then. So my bigger brother will live further on with him wife and in his family. When him come home at that time, he's here, you know. So him have to go back how much miles now for go report the date and for call the, the undertaker. Them now come for the night there. They, weren't, they wouldn't be coming for that night. So you know what, no parry. The dead had to stay inside the house until the next day. That was how it goes in those days. That's definitely, those were like, as I said, back then, primitive days. Mother that town, we don't have no phone, we don't have nothing. Anyhow, the neighbor them will come, kind of for them yard. Time African him come. My father drunk see him now wake up. But the next brother, me and my little nephew now, I had three other brothers, they lived down the bottom house. And Parry, them afraid, them say, me, me, me and my nephew, me 11 plus my nephew 5. Them afraid, them say, them not staying at the house with me. They are not staying in the house with me. Because them afraid of them little brother, them little sick brother were just dead. I'm saying, God. But I say, I blame my bigger brother. He should have tried to steer you somebody if it's you know, but anyway, God. Coming now to this tutorial to comfortable. My father had um him have this epilepsy, he's not supposed to drink. So when he drink now, he would have get this attack. You know, sometimes it's mild, but sometimes it's major. So Mr. Tomilico never you know, alright, cause it's like him and my brother knock out and dead, you know, from how much hour me come. So Mr. Tomilico Nevy and me, I alone I forgot about it out, you know. Five years old. Plus 11 and a half. 11 year old and a half. 11 and a half me. Little nephew 5 year old. Anyway everybody gone. I close up the house. And I say God help me. My little brother sick. My, little, my, my sick brother. Died there right around. Dead that around. They say you know. Everybody gone. The two. The other two. My bigger brother. And the father. Them junk. Them knock out. I don't know. Because when I look. I just see one little teeny back around me. I say I don't know. If then you could back room, they could have drunk two people. So, but guess what? When your system don't make for alcohol, anything your system don't make to contain, leave it alone. It knock them out. Anyhow, then the time there, you know, night take when night start after forever before daylight in a party. Anyhow, we got to bed. We turn down the light. Home seat, home lamp. You all know it. If you know it, comment below. Comment, my dear. Warm sweet warm lamp. I tell me look at say, come here, you go cover up, cover up and I need the sheet in the bed. The two junkin man them out in the hall part. So me and them go cover up, but we are going to turn on the lamp lower. As long as that night is, I never sleep. In the middle of the night, now me cover up me and my little nephew. There me hear my father for the, the, the attack of the fits, the epilepsy attack take him. Parry, I had to get up one help him. Fred you know? Me Fred. Anyway. During the night that happened, we got through till morning, morning light, everything come. All of the story, me, I cut the story short. Everybody come and whatever was done, and he went to the funeral parlor and him get buried. Maybe a week after that and everything. No, after him buried, you know how me afraid. Me afraid, me afraid, me afraid, me afraid. One evening now, my mother, a cook, and she said to me, said, Debbie, it was like almost to dust. You know, some I want some bird pepper over the good. Because at that, that time, you know, you bury your dead on your land. When you live in the rural era, you bury your dead on the land. I want two bird pepper. Parry, you don't know where the bird pepper tree there. Right up in the, in the family plot when my little brother bury. Me say like, that was like about three weeks after the burial, you know. Miss, and she said, look here, I don't want your nothing from you. I want your go for the bird pepper then. Why you go get them bring up? And I start to make a cow ball in. So me had to go down into a gully and go up a ditch. 
So I start to cry knowing and the more we get near to the to the to, to the bear um the family plot and the more nice me making up. Cause in a mile because if me I tell my sister the nice that go run, they don't pee. Fari, when we go up, they don't run, go up, they run you know. So when we run, it's like like at the right at the arm of the chair, there's would be the the, the berry the the, the, fin, um, the family plot and like right where I am, the bird pepper tree would be there. So I just walk there you know, and grab the tree and say, I pull, me pull a leaf, care come give her, you know. Not looking, you know. Just put my hand and pull it and run. When I don't run, come down half of the steep, down down the gully and come back up. Parry, when I reach all in the kitchen and give my mother, when I look, is the old bird pepper tree come up. The old pepper tree come up inside of my hand. Now here, my mother. Yes, man. The whole bird pepper tree you pull up and care come. I went pick off some of them, the bird pepper them, and you're going right back up there to plant back the pepper tree. Of course, she never mean it. You know what happened? From then, I was never, never afraid. I was never afraid. Might be long, but I think if you have liked it, you can leave your comments below. You can, if you want, you can thumbs it up. If you so think this back then story deserve a thumbs up, you can do it. If you have enjoyed it, you can say in the comments below, we can talk about it, what it meant to you, what you think about the whole scenario of this back then story as a little girl, 11 and a half. Okay? And if you're all following me and following me on, on Instagram, which I know some of you are, you would see one of my recent posts that I put up. And it says, uh, it says right here, it's a lion, the picture of a lion. And it says, I have been fighting since I was a child. I am not a survivor. I am a warrior. And I want you to zoom up that picture and look at the face of the lion. That lion is an aged lion. Sitting down. And you can see like, the, the looking at it, you can see the lion is looking way back then. Way back in time. That's my back then story. If you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up. You can leave your comments below. And you might want to share it with a friend. Thank you all for your support. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in and coming on to the Debbie Debs train and to lend your support. Love you. Remember, never let the evil around you take control of you. Yeah, man. Stay up on top of things.